another uh, comparison since I've kind of had an experience with both. Uh, Evo versus STI, the question that I get asked by buddies, I get asked by other enthusiasts. Um, so, guys know a little bit of my car history. I've had an Evo 8 and then an X and then this 9. Um, but I've had a few more cars than that. Right before I got the Evo 8, uh, I actually had an 04, um, I think generation's called Bullseye STI. Um, car was awesome, it was loud as shit. Had a full turbo back with just an Apexian one muffler. Uh, no resonator, no cats, three inch piping intake. Uh, bigger turbo excess, I think it was the company. Uh, top mount and then a BOV as well. Um, car was cool on pump gas in California, so shitty 91. I was making, I think 300 wheels, 310 wheels, something like that, and a slight bit more torque. Um, but the tuner that I was going to at the time, both the tuner in California and when I lived in Chicago, because I had the car in Chicago, uh, both of them told me that, look, like if you continue on with mods, you're gonna have to do something to your engine or you may spin a rod, and I was like, well, that kind of sucks. I mean, I'm barely at 300. So having friends who own and love and are obsessed with Evo. So I was like, you know what? Let me try an Evo. Uh, ended up selling the 04 STI to someone on Craigslist who basically a uh, friend totaled their STI and they just wanted to swap their like 800 horsepower built engine and trans into my shell. Um, even though it had a full motor and was running perfectly. So he ended up buying it, selling my motor and trans, and then swapping in his shit. Um, yeah. So once I sold that, went, got a great deal on an Evo 8. Um, started modding that, just did basic intake exhaust, and noticed that the car feels about the same power wise as the. the same power wise as the STI even though on paper the STI was making way more power. Uh, at that point I was maybe making like 260 wheel, 270 at the most on the Evo, uh, probably closer to 250 wheel because it was untuned. Once it got it tuned uh, that went up so that intake exhaust from it to 300 300 and the power delivery is what I love with the Evo. Um, on the STI, because it's a smaller turbo, it spools up quick, which is great and dandy, but I like that big feeling. I like to be able to put your foot down and you just feel nothing, nothing, and then just all hell breaking loose for the rest of the power band. Um, so yeah, between that, uh, between me liking the steering dynamic on the Evo better and how the Evo responds to mods better, like this Evo 9, I'm making 400 and 15, 420 wheel, uh, and then about 380, 390 wheel torque. It's on a dyno jet uh, on 85, and my engine is still perfectly clean. Have great compression, and a leak down, leak down's fine. And oil analysis with Blackstone Labs, also fine. Um, it's just kind of like, the Evo is the car that you can drive every day and just slap a fat turbo on it and make sure you tune below 400-ish wheel torque. Um, car will take it. I have friends with 35Rs, stock block, um, I mean, they literally just slapped it on, did tuning, did fuel, and they just, I think they did cams as well, just so they could rev out the car a bit more. Um, yeah, Evo's just a beast. Handles well, uh, takes the mods very well, makes power well, doesn't have many problems. Uh, most of the pumps I've seen with Evos are usually the driver, like people blow up transmissions because they launch the car incorrectly uh, or they launch the car way too many times and then they have problems with the transfer case. And uh, don't get me wrong, I have launched my Evos, but I don't do it that often. Um, I just don't feel the need when you have that much power just kind of give a little gas, ease off the throttle and slip the clutch into the power. People like to dump the clutch. Um, yeah. So for me, having owned both in 04 STI and all three Evos, clearly uh, my choice was an Evo. I liked liability of it better. I had less problems. Uh, the STI kept having a problem with fueling. Um, it kept going, it, it was inconsistent. So 
while they were tuning it, the fuel didn't want to constantly stay throughout the power band. My uh, injector duty cycle would all of a sudden flip from 80%, 85% to like 99% uh, when there was nothing really going on wrong with the car. Uh, whereas the Evo, it's completely stable. Um, I haven't had any problems. The only problems I've had with any of my Evos is just my own stupidity, like uh, driving the car through a puddle, puddle, it was a very, very large puddle, and uh, I ended up, it was like kind of up to the center cap of the wheel at some point, so it was like a downward sloping road, and I basically got water on the starter, damaged the starter, had to replace that. Um, my alternator went out because the car is 11 years old now, so that's completely understandable. Um, let's see, what else have I broken on this car? That's about it. I mean, my O2 sensor went out. It's six, seven years old. Um, fix that. I mean, they're all very minor things. Like, I've never had any problems with the engine. Uh, I've never had any boost problems. I've never had any leak problems. Um, most of the time, I think when people get those problems are incorrect installation of parts. Whereas the STI, I was just noticing, even though I'm getting stuff installed by a professional, um, still having issues. Yeah. So, that's kind of why I would keep choosing the Evo. More reliable, takes better to mods, handle way more power, handles better. Looks, of course, are uh, subjective, but I think the Evo just look better. Uh, the Evo 9 being my favorite, Evo 8 being basically the same thing, just doing front bumper. Um, still would choose the 9. The reason why why I would want to keep buying this car is because it just it's just really fun to drive. Yeah, I'm going to give some of my insights on uh, for some people who wanted to know why I keep choosing an Evo over an STI. I've been given opportunities to buy another STI even at a really good price and yeah, no, I'm good. I like my Evo. I'm going to keep my Evo until the wheels fall off. Yeah, but at the end of the day, the decision's yours, guys. Whatever car makes you happy, drive both, enjoy both, see what you like, and uh, make a